Since its debut last month, Rick Ross and Meek Mill's collaborative album has only sold a small number of copies. 50 Cent has taken this as an opportunity to make a move. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The G-Unit mogul posted a summary of his final lap tour performance in Adelaide, Australia, on Monday, December 4th. Even though the film is primarily on the performance and the supporters in attendance, he still found time to take potshots at his competitors. When you sold 31,009 CDs, I shouldn't talk to you, he says, referring to the first week sales of Too Good To Be True. When Raze learned of the slate, he responded on Instagram by bringing up his personal background. While 50's 2005 follow-up album The Massacre sold 1.15 million copies in its first seven days, his 2006 debut album Port of Miami sold 187,000 copies in its first week. You sold 31,009 CDs. I shouldn't talk to you. Nigga, we been rich. We still getting money. He said as he stood by a pool, presumably his own. Them niggas was laughing at my first week sales. They was doing a million the first week. I did 150 to 180 for his 2006 debut port of Miami and they was laughing. You smell that salt water, right? In a social media post last Friday, 50 Cent mocked Meek Mill and Rick Ross for the low sales of their new collaborative album, Too Good To Be True. After selling out two consecutive nights in London, 50 Cent promoted the duo's album, which sold just over 31,000 copies. Oh no 31,009 you might want to spend some quiet time to strategize and reevaluate. LOL London second show sold out. Newcastle tomorrow night sold out. 50 Cent wrote. Meek Mill previously addressed the disappointing sales in a pair of tweets when the projections were first released. At the time, he wrote, it says me and Ross on pace to sell 35k first week I would post if it said 350k I'm too nice, and rich to be rapping in a control music environment that's why we dropping music on Fridays it doesn't make sense now we all own our music we getting the tech built to put people on our own musical subscriptions and we gone let direct to consumer see if rap if doing well. In a follow up post, he added, the streets love this album too. I'm use every drop of my talent now I own 100% of my music now. It was top tier rap for the hustlers and winners. Rick Ross dislike for 50 Cent isn't going away anytime soon, revealing that he's not messing with anything the G-Unit mogul is involved in. We're always happy to see rappers put their differences aside in order to avoid any drama, but it appears that Rick Ross and 50 Cent will never be able to do so. The former has received a lot of press this fall, and in interviews with Complex and Rolling Stone, he had few positive things to say about his contemporary. Can we see something like that happen for you at 50? Too far gone. I doubt it. Raze told Speedy Mormon that he doubts he and Fifth will develop a working relationship. Meek Mill was also present for the interview. He revealed that Ross predicted he and Champagne Pappy would reconcile in a matter of years, which proved correct. Because I, I knew what space he was in, mm. and I knew where Drake was at. Proud owner of the Promised Land recalled, Seeing as Raze is richer than he ever been, both he and his Philadelphia-bred friend feel as though patching things up with Curtis Jackson at this point isn't a worthwhile investment. But and, I got no, and I ain't got no jobs for him or nothing. The biggest boss quipped. Elsewhere, Ross told Rolling Stone his hot take that everything 50 Cent does sucks. The multi-talent said, at least he got a movie done about him. He took advantage of the system. But oh, my god, please. Who wants to see a movie about 50? While discussing director Jim Sheridan's failed career after 2005's Get Rich or Die Trying. Rick did, however, mention that the game's hated or love it features a verse from Jackson that he particularly enjoys. Raze has been letting his sentimental side shine on social media as he continues to berate 50 Cent over their long-running feud. Fifth started his week off with a throwback photo from when he was first discovering his passion for music. Regardless of what critics like Rick Ross say, he has shown tremendous growth since then. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.